s a w a d i k r a p Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. I'm your host, JP Mastanta. Today is Friday, February 7th, meaning the latest edition of the Phuket News has been released. Grab your copy at any one of 600 locations around the island. Now let's start with our top story. Bashira Phuket Hospital has set up a respiratory disease screening point where people can be checked to see if they have contracted the Wuhan coronavirus after the hospital was inundated with more than 100 people presenting themselves every day to see if they had been infected. According to Bashira Director Dr. Chalampong Sukontapol, the move was made to stop public fears of coronavirus getting out of control and will be open from 8.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day. So far, no people have been confirmed as infected with the Wuhan flu. Meanwhile, Chinese doctor Li Wenliang, the man who was the whistleblower of the virus and was punished for, quote, spreading false rumors about the coronavirus before it was officially recognized, he died earlier today after testing positive for the virus. Li was a doctor at a hospital in Wuhan, the epicenter of the outbreak, and was reprimanded last month by Wuhan police, one of eight people to have been punished for speaking out about the virus. The novel coronavirus has now killed over 630 people, mostly in China, with over 31,400 people infected across 25 countries and territories. New updates in the case of the seven-story fall that resulted in the death of a transsexual woman in Patong last month. As the main suspect in the case, a male Turkish tourist, he's now been cleared of any charges in the incident as police ruled the death was an accident. Police say that no blame could be apportioned to the Turkish tourist, adding that evidence proved the suspect could not have been directly involved when the incident occurred. It all took place on January 7th when 28-year-old Katoy Apinyo Kaukau and a friend had gone back to the hotel with the Turkish man and his friend, according to reports. The suspect was showering when he heard his belongings being tampered with and then the door shut. He got out. Apinio was nowhere to be found, so the man went to the lobby to report the theft. By the time he came back to his room, Apinio had already fallen from the balcony and was lying dead in the forecourt. According to police, Apinio had actually gone to the room next door where the other couple were, and in trying to use the balcony to try and escape, Apinio fell seven stories. A Nok airplane hit an aircraft tug towing it to the passenger ramp at Dunhuang Airport in Bangkok this morning, killing the driver and injuring another employee. The incident happened at 8 a.m. today when Nok Air flight bound for Nakhon Si Tamarat that was scheduled to leave at 8.40 a.m. It ran into the tug pulling it to the parking bay. The connection between the tug and the plane became loose and the driver had to stop the vehicle. The plane being pulled continued to move forward and collided with the tug. The tug driver was severely hurt and later died, while another employee is currently recovering at a local hospital. The plane was delayed only an hour and left for its flight at 9.50 a.m. Sit tight, Puka Dexter will be right back after this. Welcome back to Puka Dexter. A 37-year-old man is now behind bars for allegedly sexually abusing a 16-year-old schoolgirl and videotaping it for sale on his Facebook and Twitter accounts, according to police. Suchar Charonpol was arrested in front of a school in Supanburi province on Thursday night on a warrant by the provincial court on charges that he sexually molested the schoolgirl in addition to human trafficking by producing or distributing child pornography for sexual exploitation. Police say they were tipped off that someone was selling sexual material of a minor through Facebook Messenger. And through their investigation, they tracked down the girl in the video who said that she met the suspect through Twitter. And over time, they became close. She says that he one day lured her to a hotel where the alleged sexual abuse was filmed. And afterwards, she was too fearful of coming forward. Suchart allegedly confessed to all the charges and is now still being investigated to see if there are other victims. For the third straight year, Thailand has won the Sapporo International Snow Sculpture Championship with their exhibit of sea turtles in human land earlier today. The Thai team consisted of three veteran ice sculptors who made the three cubic meter sculpture, which they dubbed Future in Our Hand, with the theme of responsible tourism in the 47th annual competition in Hokkaido, Japan. 
The three ice sculptors are good friends and have been practicing for five months before the contest using styrofoam in snowless Thailand. And it was enough for them to beat out 11 other teams this week, including the US, Poland, and Finland. The sculpture is set to reflect the impact humans have on the environment while also emphasizing Thailand's beautiful marine attractions. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. We'd like to get your feedback on any of the news you just watched, so drop us a line in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. We'll be off on Monday for the religious holiday, but we'll be back on Tuesday with all the news you need to know. Until Tuesday, stay classy, Phuket.